Hey guys, how's it going? Tears back again with another episode of the My Player series here on Xbox One. We're into episode number 22 today, and if you watched yesterday's video, you'll know we've actually been selected for the England squad for the upcoming two friendlies against Germany and Paraguay. If you missed yesterday's video, there'll be an annotation as a or a link in an annotation in the bottom left hand side of your screen but uh, as you can see we haven't been selected for the opening friendly against Germany it's to be expected we uh, we definitely aren't uh, ready to take on a team of Germany's stature just yet and to be honest I'm really not overly uh, I've just skipped it by the way we have managed to come out with a win actually young Ross Barkley with the goals but uh, I, to be honest I don't think we're ready for international football uh, even in this uh, game against Paraguay, which you would presume if we've been called up, we will actually be selected for. They wouldn't call us up just to start, just to leave us on the bench for two games. No, in fact, we have been called up to play in the game against Paraguay away from home. So it's going to be a tough game. Paraguay are a decent side with a couple of very, very good players. As you can see, this is the side we're starting in. Joe Hart, Glenn Johnson, Gary Cahill, Phil Jagielka, Ashley Cole, Steven Gerrard and Jack Wilshire holding with Milner, Jerry Rodriguez and Ross Barkley as a midfield three behind ourselves up top on our own. It's a formation we haven't been played in since we were at Chelsea in pre-season. At Sheffield United, we've always been played with a partner in a 4-4-2. So to be in a 4-2-3-1 up top on our own in an international game, uh, you know, it's difficult enough as it is considering it's our, our first game outside of League One for a very, very long time. And uh, to, for it to be at international level against Paraguay is going to be very, very difficult indeed. But considering this is going to be our international debut, our first cap as an Englishman, uh, please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. Uh, if we could hit 100 likes on this, that would be absolutely superb. You guys have been absolutely epic with uh, hitting likes. And showing the channel some huge support recently. We've uh, we blasted through 7.6k uh, subscribers a couple of days ago which is absolutely wonderful the, the channel is growing really really well right now and I can't thank you guys enough for how that is happening but uh, anyway let's jump into the game then against Paraguay like I say I don't think I'm ready for this level of football just yet but we'll do our best we'll try and do the little things as best we can you know the little interlinking passes and if anything comes of it then hopefully we can take advantage but let's jump into the game and uh, <laughs> let's experience our first ever game with an England shirt Jay Rodriguez with an early ball through looking for Ross Barkley. He's been headed away. Stevie G's picked it up deep. Out wide to Glenn Johnson. Now what can Glenn do? Can find James Milner. The ball's coming to us. Oh, did we get... I don't even know whether I got anything on that. I felt like I got a, a touch to it for the volley. But Martin Caceres... Or no, Victor Caceres. Victor Caceres? Martin Caceres? No, Martin Caceres is Uruguayan, isn't he? So it's definitely Victor Caceres uh, gets the block in. So unfortunately... Uh, well, we're involved to start off with, which is good, but not really able to make anything of it. Nunez with the cross. Is Joe Hart going to go? He's not. Joe Hart in absolute no man's land. There came for the cross, decided not to come for the cross. And Paraguay punishes 1 0 to uh, the South American side. That's disappointing. We really shot. Joe Hart, what are you doing? Just watch me. He decides to come for it and then changes his mind and backs away. And by that time, he's just absolutely nowhere. It's an easy, easy finish. Gary Cahill losing out in the air and Joe Hart absolutely nowhere near it. Oh, you should get on the end of that. Glenn's up. It's found us. I'm going to try a dink through ball. Oh, nearly able to get there. Win that, son. Ball shot to us in the edge of the box. What do I do? I'm going to turn, try and play in. Who's that? Jack Wilshire. Oh, he's returned the ball to us on the header. Oh, chance. Chance to get our first international goal. Lovely ball across from Jack Wilshire. I wasn't expecting it, to be completely honest. But we're able to get on the end of it. Unfortunately, not able to get ourselves back in this game. Wait, I'll win that header. I have done. Jack, someone play me. I'm going to call for the through ball. It's come on our own. I'm going to cut inside. Oh, have the shot, Chez. Great save. Follow it up. How's he saved that? I don't understand how this hasn't gone in. I don't know how to react. <laughs> it's dropped to us. Have the shot. Oh, terrible technique and it's gone wide. Oh, absolute face palm. How has that not ended up in the back of the net from any of those chances? That last one was really poor, to be fair, from us. But, oh, how has he made that double save? That second save was absolutely next level. Wow. Still 1-0 Paraguay. Heido Valdez brings it down. Phil Jagielka is able to get there, though. It's not a problem. Ashley Cole dinking into us. We'll knock that down. We'll try and make a run in behind. The ball has come. It's found us. Can we finish? Ref, he's going to go in. It doesn't... Is it, it's gone down as a known goal, hasn't it? Oh, I swung and missed. I think I swung and missed at the ball. And it's not going to go down to a goal for us. It's gone down as an own goal. 
Oh, absolute heartbreak. We were so close to getting our first international goal there. We're back on level terms, which is a good thing. We were involved in the move, which again is a good thing. But it doesn't go down to us. If we'd have been able to get on the end of that ball and actually finish it rather than just swinging and letting the defender kind of knock it into his, his own net, then maybe we'd have had our first international goal. But it's England 1, Paraguay 1. And we've been involved a lot so far. Maybe we can uh, actually find ourselves getting a goal in this uh, you know, international debut. I'm going to make a run. And he's looked to find us. I can't. I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. I tried to knock it down, but wasn't able to do so. And there goes the final whistle. So we're going to go in at half-time at 1-1. And this has been an exciting game, to be fair. I probably will only show the international game in today's episode. This is probably going to be all that you'll see from this one. Maybe if we're going to be called up uh, regularly for the national side, then we'll have like uh, set-aside international episodes. But uh, one thing that I have noticed, or a couple of things that I've noticed from uh, from this game so far, the tempo is a lot higher at international level than it is at League One, which you would expect. Uh, perhaps that bodes well for maybe next season for uh, potentially you know, getting a move to a different club, etc. As you can see, we got the first touch there, but I weren't able to get the finish in, but it still went into the back of the net. So that's a good thing. It's nice to know that, uh, you know, the football at a higher level is played at a better tempo and also a better quality as well. There have been a lot more uh, standout passes been played. It's not been quite as boring as it is at Sheffield United. So I'm pleased f uh, in that regard for the longevity of the, the series as a whole, regardless of the fact that this is just a one-off game. So next season, once we get away from Sheffield United, hopefully it will become a little bit more entertaining to play. I know you guys have been absolutely loving watching it, and I've been loving you guys reacting to watching it and enjoying the series, which again, you know, gives me the enjoyment in making it as well. But it has become a little bit boring at Sheffield United, with us being so much better than anyone, anyone else around us. And with the, the quality and standard of football not being quite as high as it could be, considering we're only in League One, it has become a little bit boring. But I'm still enjoying making it, regardless. And uh, hope this gives me renewed hope for, uh, for the future of the series as well. The fact that uh, if every game next season at a high level, regardless of whether it's Championship or bottom end of the Premier League, or even just little, little tastes and experiences like this of international football, uh, you know, really freshen things up, bring something new to the to the series. We could be in here. That is a gorgeous ball through. Here's James Milner. He is going to bring it down. He is going to have a shot, and it's just going to flash wide of that far post. Unfortunately, not to go in front there. Lovely ball across. Milner did well to bring it down and create a chance out of it. Just really unlucky there. He wasn't quite able to uh, to find the angle. Just curling away from goal. Probably took it that half a yard too far. Ball on Barreto for Camacho. Barreto is another name that I do actually recognise from. Uh, from the world of football, I'm just, I've just been for the past couple of minutes trying to think of Paraguayan footballers that I actually like can think of off the top of my head. You got, I think I might have been offside there. Regardless, the ball. Oh, keepers has come out. Have a shot. Someone shoot. Who is it? Oh, it's going to go wide. Oh, wow. That was a chance. Who was that? Raheem Sterling having that snapshot. I don't know what the goalkeeper was thinking there. If the vendor had that covered, he could have just left it to him. Billard come out and absolutely headed it clear, almost like Manuel Neuer. But yeah, Paraguayan footballers, I'm just trying to think. You've got Jefferson Farfan, Rocket Santa Cruz, the Barreto guy that's just come on. And as far as... They're the only three that I can think of. Are there any other Paraguayan footballers that... Uh, that I should perhaps be remembering or thinking of that I am uh, for forgetting then? Feel free to leave me a comment in the in the box down below. We've got a chance perhaps here now. Raheem Sterling isn't quite strong enough. To be fair, it wasn't the best of balls. It's not his fault. Although, here's Michael Carrick. He's found us. We get the turn in. Well, see, that's that's the thing. That's the difference there. I haven't quite got the turn and the the but the you know the ability to to just twist and accelerate away. My feet aren't good enough. My dribbling isn't good enough, and we haven't got the acceleration to be able to get away from level from players at this level. That's what I mean. I don't quite think I'm cut out for international level just yet. After uh, just like three quarters of a season at, uh, at League One, at the top of League One, we're not quite international level just yet. Maybe it's just the game wanting to accelerate uh, my career more so than anything else but I still don't think we're, we're quite ready for international football yet nice ball from Raheem Sterling out wide though to Michael Carrick he's lofted the ball in can't get anywhere near it it's probably my fault for running too deep into the box but chance isn't dead yet here's Gary Cahill and to Stephen Gerrard oh what ball lovely ball bring that down Michael Carrick 
with a chance, finds the bottom corner really well. Go on, we'll have a celebrate with you if we can. Yeah, we'll grab you, get on the floor, boy. That was absolutely fantastic. What a bring down on the test with players around him. And then to show the composer and presence of mind to bring that down and put it into the back of the net. Three guys around him, second touch settles it nicely. And then fires it in between goalkeeper and near post. Not the sort of finish and the sort of play that you'd expect from Michael Carrick, but still, England 2, Paraguay 1 is definitely a scoreline that I will take on our international debut. Stevie G, I'm trying to keep myself onside. I went horrifically offside there. Glenn Johnson's involved again. Here's Milner. First touch, shot. Mm, see, it's just not quite good enough. I wanted to get that into the bottom corner like Michael Carrick did, and it was just too central. We're not quite... Not quite got the finishing just yet, but Carrick might involve us here. No, I did call for it, but decided to play it towards Milner instead. Oh, oh, it's a nice ball in behind. Want to make a run towards the near post. Oh, he drilled it across. If I'd have made that run a little bit sooner, I might have been able to get in behind the defender there and get a cheeky, cheeky toe on the end of it. But Paraguay actually coming on the counter attack here. Great tackle from James Milner. That's exactly what he does best: tracking back from midfield, getting the tackles in, and making sure that uh, we're not going to get pegged back in this one. Look like we're going to be able to come out with a victory. It's a nice ball in behind. Paraguay threatening here right at the very death. Glenn Johnson's able to get in and put a good tackle in though. Although I'm not too keen on the way he's just messing about the possession there. Paraguay got another chance again. The ball just dropping to them on the edge of the box. Here's Barreto into... I can't see that name quick enough to be able to read it properly. It's Caceres. One of the Caceres is. Out to Barreto. Can he get a cross in? Uh, just got away from him there, went out for a goal kick, but I think that's the final whistle, and indeed it is the final whistle. So we take a win from our international debut. We weren't able to get on the score sheet ourselves, but we were definitely involved in the first goal, and uh, with, it was our presence that made the defender make the mistake that caused the own goal to come about. Michael Carrick did that all by himself. We could have had a goal ourselves if we'd have been able to get onto that drilled cross and or have uh, a couple of shots that uh, we had personally been a little bit more accurate we might have been able to pick up a goal for ourselves as well but only a 5.9 overall which is disappointing considering we had an 88% uh, pass completion rate and 60% of our shots were on target three of the five that we took ball retention was better than it has been in some of the games at, uh, at League One level as well but still only a 5.9 although I guess at international level you're going to need to perform that little bit better to be able to get the higher ratings so I think I deserved at 6.5 plus though but regardless of that we will take a win for my international debut. So that's going to bring this episode to a close, guys. To apologize that there's only one game in this one, but I want to keep the uh, the international episodes kind of a little bit separate to the rest of this series. But as you can see, we've got Leighton Orient coming up next, and then we'll have a game against Peterborough as well. That'll be in Tuesday night's episode. So if you could leave the video a like, guys, that'd be absolutely superb. Of course, if you, don't, uh, if you aren't aware of uh, when my videos go up, then feel free to check the description. Uh, there is a, a schedule in there and on the About page, on the channel page as well, there's a, a schedule so you can know what I'm uploading and when I upload it. And uh, of course, if uh, you do want to make sure that you don't miss out on anything as well, then feel free to hit that subscribe button so that uh, your sub box will be filled with my videos whenever they go live. But that's all for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.